All right, Treagles, what's happening? It's game day! We are away today. We are off to St. James's Park. Yes, you guessed it. Barnet got promoted. I'm joking. We've still got Kevin Nugent in charge. It's Exeter City versus Barnet. Now, Exeter City's nickname is the Grecians, and nobody actually even knows why. I'm joking. Of course they do. Well, they kind of do. Well, they sort of do. To be honest with you, there's so many different definitions to what their nickname means. Maybe I should ask Yuri Geller. Anyway, that's enough chat boxes to get into the football news. Now, Exeter are currently sitting six. Another team going for promotion. The last five games have been two wins, two draws, and one loss. And the last five at home, have been one win, two draws, and two losses. And that last win at home for them coming against Cheltenham Town about a month ago now. Thinking about it, our last home win was against Cheltenham Town. Fucking hell, you're shit. Now, Exeter's danger men, if selected, could be David Wheeler, who has 14 goals in 33 appearances, Ollie Watkins, who has 13 in 40 appearances, Ruben Reed, who has 11 in 31. Jack Stacey leads the way with the most assists at 7 in 32. Ollie Watkins and Jake Taylor both sit at 5 assists to their names. Ollie's got it in 40 games. Jake's got it in 38. Last time Barnet met Exeter earlier on in the season ended in a 4-1 win to Exeter. After John Akindi gave us the lead. I've just gave you the scoreline so you can guess it went to shit after that. Last time Barnet played Exeter away was last season ended in a 1-1 draw. Curtis Weston getting us back into the game. But the last time Barnet actually won at St. James's Park, no, not that one, the other one, was all the way back in 1996. A 4-0 win to the Bees. But that was in the League Cup. So the actual last Last time we've beat Exeter City away in the league was back in 1995. That ended in a 2-1 win to Barnet. I don't even think Duncan had hair back then even. So it's 6.45. I'm soon to leave because it's Good Friday and there's going to be so much traffic. Normally this is where I give you the team news, but obviously it's not in just yet because of, you know, the players are probably still in bed and everything. But before I give you the team news, there's a little bit of good news regarding contracts. Elliot Johnson and Shane Kodja Carell have both signed contract extensions which I'm very happy about to see because both of them have got fantastic futures. Elliot's already been into the first team a couple of seasons now. Still a young boy at 22. Hopefully, we can keep hold of him for a long time. Shane's just breaking in. Unfortunately, he broke his arm and that wasn't meant to be a pun a couple of weeks back now. He's out for the rest of the season, but I can see a bright future for him. Looking forward to next season. But now on a bit of a different note to rather contracts. Now, this is a bit of a rumour I'm hearing, so I don't know how much this is true. I'm hearing that Michael Gash and Sean Bat both been released. Both are currently out on long-term injuries and are going to be out until the end of the season. Maybe Michael Gash even a little bit longer. And if this is true, we're still waiting for word because no one has confirmed this at the moment. I'd just like to wish the pair of you a speedy recovery. I would like to say thank you very much for everything you've done for Barnet Football Club and I wish you all the best in the future. Right, so we're travelling. We're on our way. Let's take a look at the driver. This is Ryan. He's the driver. Say hello, Ryan. Hello. Ryan. Ryan. Yay! There we go. And this is Ryan's mum in the back. This is Nicola. Hello, Hi. Nicola. And this is Ryan's girlfriend, Billy. Say hello, Billy. Hi. Treagles, they both want me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, Ryan, what do you think the score's going to be? Uh, I would say 2 0 no Exeter. Oh, dear. Yes, yes, oh dear. What are you saying, Nicola? 1 0 Barnet. Yeah, that's what I like to see. Who's going to score? Mm, I don't know. Um, a good day. She's got his number. Uh, <laughs> Billy, what are you saying? One all. Right, I'll give you the team news when it's in. Right, so the team's in, and we're going with Stevens in goal, Elliot Johnson, Santos, Akindi, Ruben, Akinola, Ari Taylor, Colson, Jack Taylor, Valetti, and Clough. Now, it's not a bad team. Clough had his best game last week, and so did Ari Taylor. Duncan, what do you think of the team? Just to echo what you say about Clough, great game last, last week. Well pleased with him, to be honest. Team wise, I'd like to see Western start as I normally do. Other than that, again, Nelson, is this, the, is this the beginning of the end? On the subs bench again, I'd like to see him get a new contract, even if it is just for the subs bench next season. Result today, let's score a goal. 
even if we lose, let's score a goal would be nice, wouldn't it? Something to cheer about, yeah. yeah. I'll bring you more footage when I can. Hopefully we can get a Barnet win. We've come a long bloody way. Four minutes in, Essex City won, Barnet nil. Pathetic. Same shit again. Conceded a corner, couldn't clear our lines, bouncing around in that box, got it away a tad, came straight back in, no one closing down. Geezer in the box, so much time around him, put it in, 1 0. Shit again. Six minutes play, 2 0 down. Again, cannot clear our fucking lines. But all fairness, the ball had actually gone out for a goal kick. The lino didn't give it, that is 100% fact. But again, it's our own fault for not clearing our own fucking line. We come all this way to watch this shit. Nugent. Fuck off. Tune all down after six minutes. It's embarrassing. What happened to the team that turned up against Luton, eh? 33 minutes played, we just had a real chance. Harry Taylor. Keep a pull off a brilliant save as a corner, though. Leads to another corner. Oh, you are right. Leads to fuck all. It's half time, it's Exeter City 2, Barnet 0. It's been absolutely shit. The team that played against Luton to the team that's turned up now, it's diabolical. We're second to everything, we're losing everything, the passing shit. No one's out there fighting, we've got no midfield again. Akinola's been disgusting. We need to get him off, Campbell Rice needs to come on. We need to get Weston on as well to control this midfield because we've had nothing. No one's talking, the communication is just embarrassing. It's gone backwards here. Credit to the credit due to Exeter City, they play some lovely football. We need to start that game now because 2-0 down after six minute. We've not really got into the game. I'm just going to show it, Duncan. Duncan. Where do we start? We've come all this way to what this pile of shit. And it is shit. Don't make me know. It, it is shit. We are doing nothing. We got undone by two ridiculous goals. And I'm almost lost for words. We've got no midfield. Defence just can't play it out. Stevens has kept us in it. It could be 4-0. We've had nothing up front. We could be 4-5-0 down. No hunger. No leaders on the pitch. I mean, who is captain today? I don't know. John Akinde. Work that one out. I didn't even know that. And what the fuck is Akinde doing as captain? I've got no idea. They've got no idea. And the manager's got no Dear. Now I said the game against Notts County was the worst performance I've seen us play under Nugent. Day was embarrassing. Under after that 45 minutes, don't want to take the credit away from Exit City today. We're not even in it. Like I said, what happened to the performance we had against Luton? Did the players only turn up that day because the after a walls and they might have got a little bit of a few bad words from supporters? Man up. You are professional footballers. You can take it despite win, lose or draw. Now go out there and show some fucking fight because we was up at six in the fucking morning, traveled all the way down here, and we again, we are delivered this shit. It's embarrassing, fucking embarrassing. Nugent, you better sort it out, sunshine. Right, so the second half's just about to start, and we've made one sub. Campbell Rice is coming off for of Colson. What the fuck are you playing at, Nugent? Colson's probably been our most attacking player, and you've kept Akinola on. Embarrassing. Why is Luke your escape though every time? You have not got a clue. Curtis Weston's come on with about 20 minutes to go. Let's see if we can control the midfield now. In all fairness, we have played a little bit better in this second half. Had a few more chances, but we just can't finish yet again. 2-1, John Kindy. 3-2, we're going to win 3-2! Don't you just love waking up 6 o'clock in the morning, driving an 8-hour round trip, 430 miles for that? Love it. Fantastic. Oh yeah, that's me being fucking sarcastic if you haven't already fucking guessed by now. Every fucking single game, it seems like it's the same. When is this going to fuck? Fucking change. Six in the morning, we get up, we travel all the way down to fucking Exeter, make sure we give ourselves plenty of time being Good Friday and every other cunt on the road wants to fucking go away. And what happens? We're 2 0 down after six fucking minutes from shit defending again. Everyone feared the worst after 2 0 down, six minutes played. Thought it was going to be like 5 6 0. No joke whatsoever. That first half was fucking embarrassing. I went all the way out to Notts County. We lost to 10 men and I thought that was the worst game we've played under Nugent right now. Their first 45 minutes was the worst, most embarrassing, disgraceful, diabolical performance anyone, I would say, has put on a Barnet shirt since Nugent has been in charge. But Kevin Nugent's tactical awareness strikes once again. It was clear to see to the naked eye that anyone could see that Exit was playing five at the back. Three centre-halves, two wing-backs. With 2 nil down, after six minutes, Nugent didn't have a clue. He didn't know what to do. And it wasn't like we settled and got back into the game because we couldn't put two passes together. It was just we was running to danger every time we was just so fucking shit and like duncan said jamie stevens saved us a 
couple of times and it could have been a lot worse. Other than that, we was fucking diabolical. Again, what happened to the performance that happened against Luton? Where was that? How about, instead of doing experimental fucking games, chopping and changing, you start your fucking strongest team who's available at all the fucking time. Because it's us fans that lose out. We're the ones who pay our money. We're the ones that get up early in the morning. We're the ones travelling up and down this country. And we're the ones that are losing out. Not you. If you want to do an experiment, go have an indoor friendly. Then look at your team and go, all right, you can play there. I can chop and change. Don't do it when there's points available and we're not safe yet and the season's still being played. Don't fuck about with my team. The only positive I can take out of this game was, like I said, we did play a lot better in that second half, but it's 45 minutes too late once again. Why are we taking so long to wake up? If you don't want to play for the manager, don't play for the manager. Play for us fans who turn up week in, week out, sing your fucking praises and pay the money to see you. Do it for us. Don't do it for him then. Do it for us. So Kevin Nugent's record with 11 games played currently stands at one win, four draws, six losses. We've taken seven points out of a possible 33. 33 points available. We've taken seven. We've scored 11 goals, conceded 15 since Nugent has been in charge. With four games left, I struggle to see where we're going to get our next win. We've got Wickham on the Monday who are got an outside chance of playoffs. Then we go all the way up to Hartlepool who are pretty much fighting for their safety because they're only one place above the drop. Then we're at home to Grimsby and then we've got Crew. Do think it's time to go. He's not really going to get the sack with four games remaining. Kev, just walk. You know that the fans want your head. You're not getting the best out of the players. They clearly don't respect you. No one will think anything less of you if you was to walk away right now. You gave it a chance. Didn't really work out. Just go. Or you could stay to the end of the season and keep robbing that living. So that's all I've got for you now, guys. I'm sure I could keep going on and on, but it's been a very long day. We look forward to Wickham on Monday, then it's Hartley Paul away, Groomsby at home, then Crew away. So guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, leave any comments below, follow me on Twitter, it's in the description. Share this video with all your friends, because like I said, I'm skint and I need the money, you know, YouTube sensation over here and all. So until next time, I'm trying to stay positive, but let's be honest, there isn't a lot to stay positive about right now. I'll see you later.